Hi, in this video we will learn how to write an equation for a given line. Well, everything starts with this point that to write an equation, to write an equation for a line, we need we need two um, information, two pieces of information. One is a point x1, y1 on the line to the slope of the line. Well, slope we denoted by m, so a number, and uh, the point. When you have this information, then you can write down this form of equation, which is called point-slope form. Which is what? Which is this guy, y minus y1 is the second component of the point equals to m times x minus x1 and that is what we have as the equation the form that at least we start with then uh, we can easily turn change this we can we can change it to the other forms in particular what I uh, am interested in this course you have to be able to write it in in particular in um, in what we called it uh, slope intercept form What is a slope intercept form? Well, you can rearrange this equation such that y is on one side, x is on, and everything else is on the other side. And there is a number, which is, which is going to be slope times x plus a number. So in other words, you can take, first of all, you can, uh, distribute this on on x and x and x1 so you get y minus y1 is equal to mx minus mx1 and then you can take this to the other side this is mx minus mx1 plus y1 in practice x1 m and y1 are just constant so when you add the multiply and add them what well, you will get it will be a number so in most of the question i will ask you to write the equation in the slope intercept form so this form y equals a number multiply x plus b well there is um, two cases that we will study in the case of the horizontal lines m is zero so you will get y equals to y1 when when the line is vertical then you i will show you how to write an equation so um okay let me just write this down remark for horizontal and vertical lines we only need one point so just one point well to be honest this doesn't change what we said before the two pieces of information is there and one is the the point the other one is being horizontal or vertical because those have information for for the horizontal one 
with uh, that point x1 y1 we are always going to get y equals to y1 so y equals to the second coordinate of that point for the vertical one we'll get x equal to the first component or first coordinate of that point so that's the special case that you have to know how to deal with so this is the form and then you just do the exam let us let us go through some examples here and so examples find an equation for the line for the line um, okay so we will have different cases uh, through Uh, point two and negative one and uh, with the slope with the slope uh, three that's first part the second part says well these are different lines uh, through two points um, one three and two and one for the third one, which is horizontal, and through one one negative four, uh, which is actually vertical. This is the way vertical, and the uh, last one is. Um, through this point one and negative one and parallel to the line two y minus x is equal to four okay let's just go through these ones one by one and try to see what is happening here oops okay so um first one everything is given this is m this is x1 this is y1 so we will have y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 well from this we get y minus negative one equals to three times x minus two then simplify this y plus 1 is equal to 3x minus 6 and then take the 1 to the other side so it will be 3x minus 6 minus 1 and finally we got this one so this is the equation there in part 2 uh, the slope is not given two points are given I can take one of these to be my point any anyone you like but uh, to find uh, what well, slope is not given explicitly we have to find slope here uh, we remember that two uh, if two points on a line is given then we can write find the slope of that line so in this case this is one minus three so this is y2 this is x2 then 2 minus 1 so this is negative 2 over 1 and the slope is negative 2 now that I have a slope I can write this and this says y minus 3 equals to negative 2 times oh this is not m this is x uh, x minus 1 so this gives us y minus 3 equals to negative 2x plus 2 and then I can take the negative 3 to the other side this will be negative 2x plus 2 plus 3 
and that gives us y equals to negative 2x plus 5. That's the equation for the line. Remember, for the vertical ones, we always know that vertical lines are of the form x equals to some constant. When you have a point of a vertical line, just pick the first component, and that is going to be our x equal to that, um, that number 1. It will be our equation. So that is our equation. How about this one, a parallel? Okay, the point is given, x1 and y1. How about the slope? Slope is not here. Instead, it says that it is parallel to this point. This is line. So this is a fact that you have to know. Two lines are parallel. Two lines. Oops. Two lines. are uh, parallel if and only if uh, there they have same slope So it means that if I can find the slope of this line, I can use it as the slope of our line and then go ahead and complete the equation. So what is the slope of two slope of two y minus x equals to four? Well, uh, remember, write it in the form. Um, slope and intercept form so it means that take everything uh, to the right hand side but y itself and then uh, the coefficient of x is going to our to be our slope so m is half now that we found m is half we can write the our equation our line as the an equation so y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 this gives us y minus negative 1 equals to m m is half x minus x1 so this is y plus 1 equals the half of x minus half. Then take 1 to the other side, half x minus half minus 1. And then as a result, we have y equals the half x minus well, 3 over 2. That is what we have there. So we just did uh, learn uh, how to write an equation for a line if we know a point and slope of that. This is called point slope form. And then, as I said, uh, what I uh, need you to do for this course, always turn point slope form into the uh, slope intercept form, which is y equals to mx plus b. And then we did some examples for